The direct shift gearbox or S-Tronic transmission is a highly engineered electronically controlled manual transmission capable of incredibly smooth lightning fast shifts. In automatic shift mode, the S-Tronic upshifts and downshifts seamlessly with crisp shifts between gears. This provides sporty drive characteristics with excellent fuel economy. In Tiptronic mode, the driver can choose the shift points. To enable Tiptronic mode, tip the shift lever to the right. The selector lever position M is shown in the instrument cluster display. Shifts are made one of two ways. Tipping the selector lever forward will shift up. Tipping it back will downshift. Shifts can also be performed with the paddle switches on the steering wheel if vehicle is equipped. Tap the right paddle to shift up. Tap the left paddle to downshift. If a shift is not made before critical engine speed is reached, it will shift automatically. Paddle shifts can also be performed with the selector lever in the drive sport position, but Tiptronic mode will only be engaged temporarily. To go back to automatic shifting, hold the upshift paddle for one second. The S-Tronic is able to accomplish its fast shifts with two completely separate gear shafts and clutches in the same housing. The transmission pre-selects the next gear based on speed, acceleration, deceleration and braking and engages and disengages the two clutches simultaneously, resulting in a shift faster than most people can perform. However, the engine controller doesn't always know which gear is desired. For instance, when the vehicle is in park or neutral, the controller doesn't know whether the next gear is going to be drive or reverse so it pre-selects reverse and second gear. It pre-selects second because first gear is on the same shaft as reverse. So when shifted into drive, the vehicle starts in second gear. Once the controller knows the intention to move forward, it drops down to first gear, no longer needing the pre-selected reverse gear. This happens in less than a second. But if the driver accelerates rapidly after shifting into drive before the transmission has a chance to deselect reverse and select first, the vehicle will start in second, then electronically downshift to first. This will cause initial acceleration to be less powerful than expected. Waiting one to two seconds before accelerating will help ensure proper acceleration. A similar situation can happen at highway speeds when Tiptronic mode is used to downshift for better acceleration as when passing. If the driver accelerates while downshifting, the two clutches engage and disengage rapidly to match the input shaft speed with the output shaft speed of the next gear before shifting. During this brief shift moment, the acceleration will be limited until the next gear is fully engaged. Since the S-Tronic matches input and output shaft speed automatically, there's no need to goose the accelerator while downshifting. For best results, first decelerate slightly, then downshift and accelerate. The S-Tronic transmission brings the results of Audi's racing research to the A3. It's an exceptional engineering accomplishment, one that brings advanced technology to the everyday driver.